Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Hi girls, how are you? Okay, our lesson today we want to learn about data. Okay, about data, handling data. Okay, what is data? What is data? Okay, now you watch this video. Data collection. In our daily lives, we often come across many instances where we have to collect facts and figures and arrange them in a way everyone could easily understand. As you go on in your grades, you will have occasion to study data collection techniques in many ways. Now we shall just concern ourselves with the basic technique of collecting data. Data means facts and figures. When we are given a set of facts or figures, we have to arrange them according to their group and we must count them. Let us straight away get into examples so we know better what we are talking about. At home, the fridge contains the following Cucumber 3 Mangoes 4 Apples 5 Oranges 6 Raw Bananas 2 The vegetables and fruits are our data. Now we have to represent them in such a way as to make it a record of what is available in the fridge. It can be done in two ways, use of pictures or use of graphs. One look at this picture will make it obvious to see how many things we have in the fridge. Answer the following. How many apples are there in the fridge? How many raw bananas are in it? How many mangoes can you see in the fridge? Example 2. You have a huge basket containing various fruits. There are 8 mangoes, 10 oranges, 7 apples, 5 bananas and 10 pears. How will you keep track of the number of each fruit? Just follow the following procedure. First, Draw a grid containing 11 rows and 5 columns like Mangoes, Oranges, Apples, Bananas, Pears First, take mangoes. Draw a perpendicular line, almost like number 1, in each row to indicate one mango. As there are 8 mangoes, you would have filled 8 rows of the mango grid. Then go to oranges. Follow the same procedures. Do the same for all the fruits. You would at the end have a graphic account of how many fruits each you have with you. Example 3. Your teacher asks for and gets the following number of volunteers for competitions. Essay competition 8. Singing 5. Dancing 10. Drama 9. Painting 12. Now draw a graph to illustrate the above data. Find out which is the most popular competition, which is the least favored competition and so on. Don't you think it is great fun to have such method for gathering various data? Okay now we see the other video and uh, we watch the other video about data collection. How we want to write and count the data. Squeaky the squirrel loves acorns. Yum, yum, yum. Every day he eats many of them. Mama squirrel is worried he may get a stomach ache. She wants to keep track of how many acorns Squeaky eats every day. Papa squirrel tells Mama squirrel that it is easy if she uses a tally table. Tally table? asks Mama squirrel. Yes, let me show you. Squeaky, when you eat an acorn, we make a mark here. One acorn, one mark. Two acorns, two marks. 
six acorns. We cut the four lines with one line to make five. Then add one more line to make it six. At the end of the week, we will count how many acorns Squeaky has eaten. Mama Squirrel liked the idea of the tally table. Let's use a picture for each tally mark, she said. Papa Squirrel showed them a picture. This is called a pictograph, but it's not complete without the key and title. A key tells what a picture represents. Here, each picture represents one acorn. Squeaky, can you tell which day you had the most acorns? Wednesday, said Squeaky. And which day did you have the least acorns? asked Mama Squirrel. Thursday, said Squeaky. That's wonderful, Squeaky. You have learned how to read a pictograph. Here's an acorn for being the smartest squirrel in the world. Thank you. Yum, yum, yum. <coughs> okay, girls. Do you understand? What is mean a data and how you want to collect a data? Okay. Okay, we can use two method. Okay. We can use two method how we want to collect a data. Method one, we draw a picture and we draw a picture of pictograph. Okay, we draw a picture or pictograph and we use a tally. Okay, we use a tally. Okay. Okay, this is mean. This is a method one and this is method two. Okay, method one is tally. Okay, tally. Okay. <coughs> okay. In this diagram, show red flower is 12, blue is 7, yellow is 9. Okay, how you want to write a tally? Yes. If you want to write 12, we do this 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is 5, 5, 5, and this is 2, which means eh, 12, okay, 7, every, <coughs> every 5, you must do like this, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, okay, every 5, every we want to come until 5, you must cross like this. Okay, okay, let's mean tally. Okay, okay, this is picture. Okay, this is picture. Okay, this method two is picture. Okay, do you understand? Okay. If you understand, now open your activity book and do exercise page 149 until page 150. See you again.